Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about home th theater setup. A lot of inquiries and uh, questions about how to set up a home theater. Now I think a little bit differently than traditional ways, as you can imagine, with home uh, theater. But let, let's just step back, take a deep breath, and do an overview. What is our home theater? Well, we have the direct energy from the front of the room, right? Okay, so we have the direct energy from the front of the room. So let's just take a normal... 7.1 system. So we're going to have left, right, and then we're going to have center. Okay. Now you all know I don't like a center channel in a home theater. You can get most of the information from left and right, or the center channel we never want to put in a different domain, but we'll talk about that later. So we have left and right, and we have center, and then we have our sides. And then we have our rears, okay? So here's our cutoff point when we're talking about home theater. This is direct. We want a nice, tight sound stage. We want the images on the screen to stay on the screen. We want the movement from left to right on the screen to go from the left to the right speaker, possibly through the center channel, but from the left to the right speaker in sequence with the movement on the screen. So the front of the house or the front of our room is all about the balance between direct and reflected energy from the surfaces. So we want a similar situation for the front of the home theater as we want with a two-channel playback system. Nice sound stage, good definition, good focus. When we get to the rear of the rooms for the sides and the rear, it's a whole different story. Now we're talking about reflected energy because we're trying to create a space that's not there. We're trying to create an illusion, a psychoacoustic illusion, that there's things going on behind us that really aren't, okay? And that's all done with reflected energy. So we have to keep the two parts of the room separate. This is direct, the front, and this is all reflected. So you see a lot of people will take their side channels and they'll fire right at the listening position. I have a better idea. Let's take our side channels. Let me get rid of this because we, we have the idea now. Let's take our side channels and instead of firing them direct this way, let's fire them this way but only into a wall of diffusion. This gives us the, a, a null here because the back of the speaker is facing the listening position and then we're firing our sidewall channels into a diffuser. We're going to do the same thing with the rears fire them into diffuser. So we don't have any direct energy firing at the listening position. It's all reflected, which is what the sides in the rear are all about anyway. The Dolby Atmos system with the ceiling, same type of uh, system. We're actually working on a project now here in Los Angeles with the uh, Atmos system. So you got, if you fire your sides and your rears into diffusers, you get this beautiful diffused waveforms coming out creates openness, space, non-localization. You can't tell where the sound's coming from. The sounds, the crashes, the, the booms and the bangs sound like they're really coming from large situations, which would occur if you were out in, you know, a normal environment. So front of the house, let's go back to uh, what we were talking about. The front of our home theater is all about the direct energy. But the sides and the rear are all about reflected energy. So we want to enhance that. And one of the ways to do that is through diffusion. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section. Or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com, and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're down doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.